Hey, good morning. It's been a year since we uh, finished our first go around with the van, and today, on uh, in the middle of July of 2022, we're going to put in the ceiling fan. So, just to start with, we've emptied out the interior pretty well, and uh, we're about to start cleaning and marking the uh, the roof. Have to take down the ceiling a little bit, and uh, then we'll get ready to cut holes in our nice new van, something we weren't quite willing to do a year ago. Um, so let's get started. Here we go. We have uh, cleaned the roof and got ourselves very wet in the process. And now we're going to go up the ladder and onto the roof where we can see what we've done. Okay, we have here a frame for the fan and we've centered it between the the pads where roof rack goes which are centered over the ribs and now we have to climb up and mark where to cut out the hole so it'll be just inside that uh, that frame climb up on the roof and get out our sharpie and mark just around inside One of the things we will have to do here is to uh, pull down part of the ceiling so we can get up here and uh, uh, put some protection in against uh, wood chips and drill filings and things so they don't get all over the truck and then we can uh, then we can get up there and do the the drilling and cutting of the hole. So let's get started on pulling down these these tabs. The last one we get from here. So now, even though we've marked up a top where we think the hole is going to be, uh, we have to be a little more precise and mark the bottom, drill our pilot holes from the bottom, and then recheck our measurements on top so that we get exactly between the ribs here is exactly 14 inches. And uh, that will determine where we put our hole so that we don't have to cut into the ribs. And so we're going to start there and see what we get. So here's our first pilot hole. And now we'll go up top and see where that ends up in the uh, post to our markings. So we'll all get to see this together. And there's the hole just about a half inch from where we thought it would be. So we're going to have to move the marks. So we're going to talk about what we are going to use to cut the hole in the roof uh, before we get noisy here. Uh, what we have here is a step drill that we use to uh, make a hole big enough for our air nibbler which is a little t air tool that uh, cuts a uh, 
bit of sheet metal and we're going to try it out see how um, good we are with it it's been a while since i've used it so we'll try that and then we'll uh, um, get up on the roof and do the thing so now the compressor shut off we have our piece here that we've done and uh, it's a little bit raggedy but nothing you can't file out and possibly uh, a little bit better would be to have a backstop to cut along but uh, it uh, it does a job and so now we're gonna get up into the truck we have a pilot hole drilled out need to open that up just a little bit it's half inch needs to be nine sixteenths and then we'll get to cutting out the panel up there so I'm gonna get up there and do that few more adjustments with our uh, uh, okay we're just about ready to go we had to use our cutoff tool to get the final edges on the hole and a little more filing but the uh, 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 the window frame fits now and so we'll take a little break and then we'll come back and uh, uh, finish filing and paint the edges of the hole and then we'll be ready to uh, put on the uh, the adapter uh, plate so all in a hot day's work this is a kind of first day of real summer uh, it's getting up uh, over 25 centigrade and uh, uh, it's hot so We'll see you in a little bit when we uh, when we get back and get organized, get cleaned up a little bit. The floor is uh, pretty much full of uh, uh, filings and the little chips from the uh, uh, from the nibbler tool. Uh, always big mess, and uh, we've seen plenty of YouTubes that say uh, do make sure you get all of those cleaned up because they will start rust. And uh, that's also why we, uh, we paint the raw edges uh, everywhere we filed and, uh, and cut through. So we'll be back at it in just a while. Well, here we are back again uh, after a break. Um, pretty much got this fitted. And uh, we're going to do a little sanding, hence the mask. Uh, so we're done with the air tools. And we're going to do that and then get the the raw edges here painted uh, so they don't rust and then we can uh, when the paint dries we can get out working at the uh, uh, getting the uh, adapter ring glued down but everything fits now so we're ready to go Okay, after a very hot day, we finally got the uh, area prepped with some primer, and we're going to scuff this up a little bit with scotch Bright per the instructions in the book, and uh, do some cleaning. 
to set the uh, set the uh, adapter in place and glue it down. beads of goop and that's that set this down where it won't spill on anything and, and get this set up right right place Okay, we've got it sealed around. Peel off the tape. And that'll set overnight. And then in the morning, we get to put on the uh, frame. It's been a, uh, a long day and uh, kind of a hard day, hot day, summer at last. So now we have to cover this up for the night and uh, go get some well-deserved kind of downtime. So see you in the morning. Here in the van again, the next day, but uh, we're, we're going to... Uh, put the screws in around here except it's still too hot so we're gonna wait a little while we've got the uh, frame in place uh, and uh, the screws are coming through just a little bit probably have to press on it a little bit harder and uh, then we should have it made we need need a little relief here but it doesn't look like it so here we go it's gonna work here we are, we have the fan in place, we had a nice bead of uh, caulk around it and of course uh, putting the fan on uh, dragged my knuckles through it, but it's all on and we have some little wrinklies in the roof that we need to address here from my big fat weight kneeling on the roof which we should have had a, some sort of brace. But, you know, when you're an amateur, you get an amateur job. And inside the van, we have our uh, van sticking through. And we're not going to have too much clearance for the, uh, the shroud because it's not that far below. And the wiring unfortunately goes this way and to get it out to the side we'll have to bring wiring all the way around through. But it's in and supposedly waterproofed, ready to go. And we can uh, open it up to have ventilation without the fan. And, uh, and it comes back down for travel and cold weather so that's uh, about all for this uh, episode we still have to put up the uh, the ceiling and uh, cut out a hole for the uh, uh, for the trim 
and uh, that should take care of it. The screws were just long enough to come through on each side and not so long that they came through the flanges so we're, uh, we're pretty much okay. Well, good morning. This time we're uh, marking the, uh, uh, the ceiling so we can do cutouts here. So we measure. Measure once and cut three times. So from the holes where the uh, thing is, it's about 8.7 centimeters. side is about nine and if we measure in it's pretty much lined up with the outside of the holes where the uh, where the buttons go in, so we can uh, measure those distances and uh, start cutting out the ceiling. And so we've marked on here where that goes, and now we have to mark on the uh, on the backside piece. But this is all in; it works. <laughs> So we put our marks here, they're about five centimeters from the bottom, six on one side, and uh, so we need to cut at least five centimeters off the top so it will slide in and we'll adjust it as we go. So we'll get at that with that we'll mark uh, five centimeters. Line. Um.
So, got the uh, trim plate all done up. Ready to screw into the ceiling. Okay, time to put everything back together. This is uh, part of the quick disconnect system we have here. I'll just bring line this up. Yeah, there we have everything in place and secure. So the next big thing is to bring these wires in from the fan and hook them up to the fuse box. So got them all strung in. It's just a matter of uh, crimping on lugs and uh, putting in a fuse. Well, we've done it. We've got the fan in. All is in order. And everything's back in where it belongs. Ready to go camping. Except for food and clothes. But we're all set. And the fan is running. So, one more project done. <laughs>